Hey guys, it's Yvette, and I have, this is my little box of figs. It always comes in a medium flat rate box, and it's, the actual box is packed inside and kept pretty pretty, so you can put it on your shelf, and it's gorgeous. Um, I'm a little behind on opening this. We I did get it in the month of July, toward the end of the month, and um, I've just been a little bit behind on my unboxings, so let's get this open. I have been so super excited to to open it. I know it doesn't seem, because people are like, I don't understand how you can wait so long. Well, when you're an unboxer, though, you kind of have to wait until you have the time to do it, and then you have to. So, I don't know what's in here. Everybody else probably knows, but let's get it open. I'm so excited. Okay. Um... So here we go. This is our box number two in 2020. And we always get a nice big long note. It usually has some instructions on there. It'll tell us everything that's in the box. Um, and the note on top says, Hello, my fig tree friends and welcome. I am so pleased to bring you this second box of the 2020 program. We knew the moment that Moda reprinted our All Hallows Eve collection that we had to include it in another little box. We have more... We have more new goodies for you in this thematic autumn flavored box that we are very excited about. Once again, we both want to thank you for taking this little box of figs ride with us and for supporting our small business, especially now during these crazy times. Stay safe and healthy, Joanna and Eric. Okay, cool. And... Okay, so let's get going. I'm going to like... um keep this right here if I need to like look at the the box goodies but otherwise I'm just gonna pull them out and we'll take a look and here is how it comes see there it is inside the little peanuts and the cool thing is that the boxes are always themed so once I get this out I'm gonna show you what I mean so you will always know if you keep all your stuff in the box I don't want all this to come out um, then you know that this is the fall themed box because they'll have a different uh, picture on the front according to whatever um, like season it is that is represented inside. So that's pretty cool. I love how they do that. Um, okay, so I'm just going to, let me close this up so that the kids don't get all the peanuts out because we don't need that. I know Jelly Bean. He wants them so bad. <laughs> all right. Oh, look, there he is. So we're going to open up this box and check out what's inside. I say we. Well, Jelly Bean is here now, thank goodness. Jelly Bean, can I help Mommy out? Yeah? You going to tell me if there's anything bad in there? I don't know. I'm seeing like a pattern right here in front of me, and I'm really excited. <laughs> okay, so the first thing on top, though, before I see the pattern, it says Fig Tree Threads Sugar Pumpkin. And that's exciting. Is it that we are making uh, that little pumpkin right there? A little, it says fig tree threads, but I'm thinking like a pin cushion. All right, let's see. It says sugar pumpkin, approximately five inches across. Please read all instructions before starting. All seams assume one quarter inch seam allowance and 42 inches of usable width of fabric. Okay. Um... Yeah, it looks like we're making that little pumpkin. And materials list. Okay, you need eight five-inch orange charm squares or six-inch by three-inch pieces. You need two nine-inch squares or a fat eighth of olive green flannel, corduroy, or simple cotton for the leaves. You need a one inch by 20 inch green print for the stem. You need a four and a half inch by nine inch cream print for the berries. I love the berries. Um, a two inch by four inch green wool for the berry leaves. And the special supplies include cotton stuffing um, and crushed walnut hulls, seven eighths inch fabric button kit, freezer paper, and strong thread. This is just the perfect... Okay, so it's actually not a pin cushion. It says that it is a perfect little centerpiece for your fall table. So you're making like a little pumpkin that's actually like 
to set on your table. That's really cool. I need to like duplicate myself so that I can do these things because look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. I love it. Okay. So then I see this pattern, which this is the one that was exciting to me. One charm pack is all you need. And I bet there's a charm pack in here. Okay. Um, the, the pattern is called pumpkins in a row. It looks like a table runner. And it looks like it has prairie points, which, oh my goodness, I love prairie points. I haven't done them in a while, though, so I'm excited. Okay, let's see. Um, is there a... I'm just looking for a, um, a list of what you need to make them. There's assembly instructions... Prairie points, binding, facing. Oh, it's on the back. Okay, so it says quilt size. And so it is table runner because it's 16 and a half inches by 40 and a half inches. This pattern is the perfect excuse to play with your favorite Halloween or fall feeling charm pack. Super simple construction and fun prairie points finish off this charming seasonal table runner. You need one All Hallows Eve charm pack. A half a yard of background, which is an ivory solid. One eighth of a yard for the inner border, an orange print. One quarter yard for the outer border, which is a cream print. Three one eighth yards of orange print. So you need three orange prints measuring at one eighth of a yard each for the prairie points. You need one quarter yard for the binding. They used an orange print. And you need one and one third yards for the backing. Oh my goodness. I, you guys, seriously. Is that not adorable? Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, look. We got um, some of this stuff for the sugar pumpkin. So they've already given us some of that for the little leaves on the top. Here we got that. Um, they gave us... Oh, okay. It says quilter's rule. And it's a little zipper pouch. It's got this red zip. And it's just a simple little pouch. Simple little pouch. No, you know, you could just throw pencils or lots of notions to keep them all in one spot in here. It's got the um, 1 to 13 inches um, on the little grab string thing. Oh, I don't know what you call that. It's a Moda one. And it's got more measuring on the back okay so a little a little zipper bag oh my goodness what is this an emergency sewing kit 48 piece set includes six colors of thread four needles two needle threaders one scissor four large safety pins four medium safety pins four small safety pins one finger thimble 11 buttons five hooks and eyes five metal snap buttons, and one seam ripper. That's a lot in this little bitty tin. <laughs> that is a lot of stuff. Look at, all, look at all of it on the back. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I haven't, I haven't actually seen a sewing kit in a really long time. That's kind of cool. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, they gave us a, um, I think this is a friction pin. Yeah, this is a friction pin. It's a black one, and it's the kind where it's a very fine point. So we have that. The eraser's on the other side, but you can just heat erase it. And okay, we have a mini charm pack of All Hallows Eve, and we have a regular charm pack of All, All Hallows Eve. And this is a reprint from last year, but I will show you the fabrics in it. And then they gave us these extras for finishing that table runner. So we've got this guy and this one and this one. These are the ones, I think these might be the ones for the prairie points. And this one. And they gave us the cream background. 
Oh, it's so soft, you guys. So soft. Okay, so that's all the extras that they sent so that we can finish the table runner. Oh, I'm so excited. Gosh, I wish I had a lot of time right now to be sewing like what I this like this kind of stuff. Um okay, so I'm just sticking everything back in here so that I can free up some space to show you all that fabric. I love this pattern. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Okay. Here is the Hall All Hallows Eve. I'm gonna try to pull this down a little bit so that I can, I don't know if I can though. It's pretty tight. That's probably good. I don't think I need to go way, way down. I'll be able to pull it. Okay, here we go. And the great thing about uh, Fig Tree is that it's sort of like Sweetwater where, where you'll get like a lot of different prints. So you won't have too many that are duplicated. Not that that's a bad thing, but um, you'll get like literally one of everything that they have designed no matter what. So here we go. There's That was one. Sorry guys, it is my fabric though. I can't get it to come down. There's one of the of the chevron. And one of this one. Two like this. Got that guy. So two of those. And this one. Two of those. Ooh, look at that one. Looks like we have two of those. Yep. And now we're into these taupe colors. One of those. Two of these. It looks almost like the, um, the ones that are meant to be sort of blenders you get more of, which I like. Yeah, see, there's only like one of the flowers. I'm happy about that. <laughs> the flowers are definitely my least favorite. I mean, it's not that I don't like them. Well, sometimes I don't, but um, definitely my least favorite for sure. I'm just not a big giant flower person and you guys know that already. Okay, so now we're into this cream colorway, which I'm really liking. Oh good, we got two of those. And now this is a um, very tone on tone cream. And we've got two of that same print. Oh, I love that. Two of those. And see, like this colorway with, uh, see, and I can, I really, I like the flowers a lot better on this colorway. Okay, we got two of those.
And now we're coming to the cream, but it's got uh, their green on it instead of the orange. And now we're at the cream with black. Very nice. And now black with white. Or plop, might be cream. No, I think it's white. That's a different print. I don't remember see I don't remember if we have one like that. We might. In the orange, we might have had one. And that's it. So that is All Hallows Eve by Joanna Figueroa for Fig Tree and Company. Okay, you guys, that is my little box of figs for this quarter. This is box number two, and I'm, I have to say I'm quite happy with it. I am glad that I'm back with um, little box of figs for this year and I'd love to know what you guys think down below. I'm like looking at all this fabric that's on my on my desk here. Wow. I do, I definitely do know how lucky I am to be in the position that I am now. Um, and, you know, doing the things I love to do. Um, still praying like crazy that I'm going to get to do this full time. Um, and it's only down to each and every one of you guys for watching me for so long and continuing to support me. And please don't ever think that I have forgotten <laughs> just that you've always been with me and you've stuck with me and um, I just appreciate each and every one of you. I love you so much. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider uh, subscribing and ringing that bell. You'll know every time I have a new video. We do have lots of fun here. I do have a live um, stream where we just seriously talk about anything and everything, obviously mostly quilting and um, we all, you know, we, we are a little family here and we would love to welcome anybody who is a fe fellow quilter and just a happy person. We would love to have you. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching and good night. Mwah.